Hi everybody, what is going on? I am bringing you a story from Deadline today. So it looks like the Rings of Power showrunners are making more amazing decisions, and by amazing I mean terrible decisions, because they think that the next best thing to do for the show is set an all-female directing team and reveal the episode count for season two, and if you are not aware yet, the show recently took on the Golden Globes, and by took it on, I mean they weren't even nominated for a Golden Globe, as opposed to the House of the Dragon and other shows that are way better than the Rings of Power. It goes to show that even though the Rings of Power had a huge budget, north of $400 million, as multiple news outlets say, it can't even get onto the Golden Globes nomination list. And my prediction right now is that it won't even get an Emmy. And if it does, well, it just further reinforces that the Emmys have fallen. But let's read about this because this is one of the female directors right here. Her name is Charlotte Brandstrom. I have no idea what she's done. I assume that her writing credit or directing credits for other films is not very extensive. She clearly looks excited to direct the series. And she's going to be leading it, apparently. The upcoming second season of Amazon Studios' The Lord of the Rings and Rings of Power, which is currently in production in the UK, will be directed by Charlotte Brandstrom. Who? Who is coming back after helming two episodes in season one. Ooh, well, here's the thing. If you've already directed episodes in the first season, then chances are you're not a very good quality director. Because all of the episodes in the first season are trash, hot garbage, designed by animals who just don't like the Lord of the Rings, who hate the Tolkien lore and butcher it any chance that they get, especially when it comes to creating characters like Galadriel, who I'm sure all of these female directors are going to put their own wham and spin on. If you were worried about fan backlash, then this was not the answer. That's all I'm going to say about that. As well as Santa Hamry and Louise Hooper, who are new to the franchise. Oh, great. So now they're bringing even newer people into the franchise. Writers and directors who have no idea. They're just going to take direction from J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay, who are paying them the big bucks. And then they're going to push out a consummation series full of intersectional woke politics, full of propaganda. It's just a consume product, move on to next product show. In season one, Brandstrom was the only female director. In season two, she is leading an all-female directing team. They were much better off with J.A. Bayona's direction because he directed the first two episodes of the first season, but now that he's gone, which isn't saying much because the first two episodes were still really bad, they're just, they're doomed. I just don't even care. I don't care that they did this. Why did they think that fans would care about this? Why is it that a male or female director is what determines if you're good at your job or not. They think that we just care about who's directing. But the reality is, is that we just want the show to be good. But if you're just bringing on the same people, then nothing's going to change. And if you're bringing on new people who only do what the old people do, then you're not going to have a great show. Brandstrom, who directed episode six, Udun, which if you remember is one of the stupidest battles ever, and it's supposed to be the big battle of the season. It turned out to be just this little skirmish in this tiny village that only lasted a few minutes before everybody was killed by lava, except for Galadriel, because of course she's invincible and amazing in every way. And that means that she was responsible for the Mount Doom eruption, as it says here, and then she directed the eye, which is them just walking through uh, the woods in a red image filter. We'll be directing four episodes and will also serve as co-executive producer this season. She is taking over the lead director position from Wayne Shea Yip, who, if you remember, directed that Galadriel scene where she was fighting a bunch of soldiers where they said in an interview, oh, we just did that for fun. You know, it, it took all day. It was just a day. But we just really wanted to show her being powerful and putting men in their place. Who directed four episodes, including the finale, which was a bummer and co-executive produced season one. Yip and Brandstrom took over from J.A. Bayona, who directed the opening two episodes of the Fantasy Saga and also served as an executive producer. I mean, really just doesn't matter anymore. Nobody really cares. No one's excited about this. The Golden Globes happened recently with uh, nominations coming in. And guess who got snubbed? in the TV categories where the HFPA has always prided itself in favoring new shows. 
The Globes, surprisingly, ignored several acclaimed freshman shows like Showtime's Yellow Jackets and Amazon's The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Looks like they're not even going to get nominated for anything in the Golden Globes. I mean, is it really a surprise that the Rings of Power didn't get nominated? They were lucky enough to get an actor role getting praised at the Critics' Choice Awards for Arendir, if you recall. Because in reality, these are pity nominations. The truth is, the roles that were in the Rings of Power were awful, and it didn't matter who played them, because the show was written awful. The performances were garbage. And if anybody really thought that it stood a chance against other actual quality shows, then they're just deluding themselves into thinking something that isn't real. So what do you think about all of the female directors taking over the Rings of Power? Do you think that that's going to fix the show? Do you think that they deserve to win a Golden Globe nomination or of any sort? And are you happy? that the Rings of Power Season 2 is happening. I hope you're as excited as I am about it, because it is surely going to be a disaster. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Like and share this video, subscribe, and click that notification bell, and I will see you all again next time.